It is a company known for women's clothing that you can only buy from small home business locations. Last night, we told you LuLaRoe is being sued for $1 billion by three local women who used to buy and sell clothing for the company. The women say they and thousands of others were duped into a pyramid scheme. But tonight, ABC 10's Giacomo Luca met with a local family with a different story. So there's been a lot of conversation on Facebook about LuLaRoe and the business practices. So we've been reaching out to people that were commenting on our Facebook page. We actually found a couple right here in Citrus Heights that's going to come and speak with us today about their experience with the company. Welcome to our house. <laughs> Excellent. Is it house and business? Yes. A little yeah. both. Yeah, so um, we mostly run it out of our Lula room, which is one of our spare bedrooms. But... About three months ago, Mackenzie Paul said she took out a small business loan and invested $8,000 in her own home business. She's now an independent retail consultant for the Lula Row company. She buys wholesale and sells these vibrant colored patterned clothes out of her spare bedroom. I mean, this looks like a t-shirt <laughs> to me. So fun. So that's a classic tee. Uh -huh. So this is what we showed uh, last night. Recently, the company whose clothes she sells came under a lawsuit alleging the company's a pyramid scheme. But Paul says while she's just starting out, she feels it's been a success. I really appreciate the company because I've seen how they've put policies in place to protect us from continuing to go into debt. Um, I like this one better. While she admits she's made it her full-time job, spending hours selling on Facebook Live and shipping out her products, and often recruiting her family and friends for help, Still, she says she's nearly paid off her small business loan and still has cash left over to buy new inventory and support herself. Um, I think that if you start a business, there's always some sort of risk. In Citrus Heights, Giacomo Luca, ABC 10 News.